By now, you've probably heard about clipping and how some people are making fortunes doing this. So in this video, I'm going to pull back the veil and show you exactly how everything works. In case you're thinking about getting into clipping, plus we'll show you how clipping could potentially make you hundreds if not thousands per month. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. In case you're unfamiliar with the term, clipping is when you take an existing piece of content, usually a long form video, and trim, slice, condense, and repackage it into a smaller bite-sized clip, hence the term. You then take these clips and share them on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, etc. When people watch your clip, you can earn money. What you're really doing is you're helping a brand find a new audience. And that's basically it. Put bluntly, people want views and they'll pay you to help them get those views. And yes, you can make a decent amount of money doing this. Now that you understand what clipping is, let's show you how to get started. We're going to use WAP.com for this. In case you're not familiar with WAP, it's an online platform where you can sell your products. And the cool part is they have a whole section dedicated to clipping. Go to WAP.com and sign up using your preferred method. You'll need to verify your account. Once everything is confirmed, the next step is to fill out your profile. And this is pretty much standard fare. Go ahead and choose your username along with an avatar. You'll also be asked to join a group. Since we're focusing on WAP clipping, go ahead and join WAP Clips. After that, you'll land on the dashboard, which at first might be a little overwhelming, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it quickly. Now your profile is set up. The next step is to connect your social accounts. The reason you need to verify your social account is because WAP wants to confirm that you're the actual owner. It's a very simple process. Start by going over here on the left-hand side and click your profile, which is the avatar picture you chose. Next, click on connected accounts. And this screen shows you all the different types of social accounts you can link. Choose the account you want to connect. Let's say Instagram, type in your Instagram username, click add, and you'll be taken to a screen with a verification code. What you want to do is copy this code and paste it into the bio section of your Instagram profile. It's a good idea to clear out your bio temporarily just to make sure there's no confusion during the verification process. Give WAP some time to verify your account. After it's verified, you can remove the code and put it back the way it was. And you'll want to do this process for all of your social media accounts. You'll also need to connect your bank account so you can get paid. To do that, go over here on the left, click balance, and towards the top, you'll see a link where you can connect your bank account. So just follow the steps. Now that your social media and bank accounts have been verified, the next step is to find and join campaigns you want to promote. To do that, go over here on the left-hand side and look for this compass icon, which is your Discover tab. Go ahead and click on it, and you'll land on a new screen. And what you want to look for here is content rewards. Content rewards pay you to publish content on other platforms like Instagram, TikTok, X, and YouTube Shorts. You'll earn a specific dollar amount for every 1,000 views your video receives. Basically, you just browse around until you find something that catches your interest. It's worth your time to explore around here a little bit just to get a feel for how everything works. As you can see, there are a ton of campaigns available. To narrow things down, you can sort and filter them in different ways. For example, in the top left, you want to click the drop down menu and you can view it by all campaigns or narrow it down to just clipping or UGC. Because today's focus is on clipping, let's go with that. Then click on category to explore the campaigns by different types. On the far right hand side, you can sort things like highest available budget, most paid out, highest CPM, which is how much you earn per 1000 views and newest. When you choose your campaigns, a good rule of thumb is to look for campaigns with a solid budget and a decent amount left to pay out. So let's do an example. Let's say I'm browsing the clipping campaigns in the product category. After scanning a few of them, this one, the AppSumo jumps out mainly because I've heard of AppSumo before. To join the campaign, just hover and click on it and that will take you to the offer details. Important side note, every campaign is a little different. Some you can join instantly, others require you to join a waitlist. Some are invite only, so you won't know the exact process until you try to sign up. But in most cases, just click join and you'll be all set. Now, each campaign will include guidelines you'll need to follow to get paid. Make sure you read them and follow them carefully. Furthermore, most campaigns will also provide assets like videos, graphics, and so on that you can download and use. Or they might include a document with more detailed instructions. 
you simply need to read it to find out the way it works. Once you figure out how the campaign works, your job is to download the video, edit it, and repost it. And here's how you can do that. To create your clip, you'll want to open the video editor of your choice, say CapCut, DaVinci, Premiere, or Camtasia, etc. And your goal here is to try and create clips that people will watch or potentially go viral. To do that, you'll want to focus on the hook, which will give the person a reason to watch the video longer. The best hooks are the ones that get people intrigued, spark emotion, might be somewhat controversial, ask a question, etc. A good trick to get you started is to ask yourself, what would make me stop and watch this video? Then build your clip around that concept. You want to make sure you set your dimensions to 9 by 16 for a vertical video. Then you want to go through the video and cut out anything that does not add value. You also want to make sure to include captions, zooms, quick edits, etc. to hold their attention. Make sure to keep the video short, say somewhere between 30 seconds and one minute. Once the video is done, just export it to your computer. But if you're not good at editing clips, there are also services out there like Opus Clip that will create your clips for you, but it's a paid solution. So you can check them out and decide if it's for you or not. Once you're done creating your video, the final step in the process is to submit your video for review. To submit your video, go back to the WAP campaign and just click on the submit button. You'll need to provide a link to your posted video along with uploading a copy of the video so it can be reviewed. Once the video has been accepted, you'll start getting paid for every view. Now, keep in mind the multiplication process here. You can post this video across multiple platforms so you can see how all these views will start to add up. However, it's worth mentioning that WAP is not without controversy. Yeah, all this sounds great, getting paid to post videos, but let's be honest, some of these campaigns do seem to be a little sketchy and they may not fit into your ethical code. So take a moment and do your research, look into WAP and get an understanding of what you're promoting and decide if it aligns with your personal values before you jump in.